Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. So, we got a new BG patch, we got a new BG hero, and some minor changes. Most of the minor changes have to do with, like, the Tavern 1 dragons, and, uh, I mean, effectively, that's about it. But we have a new hero, and uh, I think when a new hero comes in, um, I think one of the players is always given the option to play the new hero. Um, so it's kind of relevant to the game because it's actually a pretty strong hero. Now, it is early, so it is a little bit like anecdotal. It's not like stats or anything. But I do feel that after playing for like 13 and a half hours on the first day of this patch, I feel like this hero very often ended up in the first or second position in nearly every game that someone played him. And because it is a pretty complicated hero, and we'll get into how it works in a second, that tells me that people will actually be better with the hero as time rolls out, because there's going to be some degree of mastery that people will eventually obtain as they play the hero more and more. So I think the hero is really good right now, but I think in maybe a few weeks' time, it might actually... I think it has a chance to be the best hero in the game. It has a chance. We'll see as the stats come in, as people get a little bit better with the hero. So what does the hero do? So Heist Baron, he has a hero power that costs nine gold, and what it does is it takes the entire shop. Yoink! That's it. And it doesn't reroll it, um, but you know, it's pretty good hero power. It goes down in cost at the start of your turn, but it doesn't go down on the very first turn of the game. So on the very first turn of the game, it is nine cost. Next turn, eight. Next turn, seven. When you use it, it goes back to nine, but because you're like in the game, it goes back to eight when your next turn starts because you can't use it multiple times in one turn. So it sounds a little bit complicated, but that's what the video is going to be for. Uh, in terms of play style, he doesn't have any armor, which is going to make it pretty tough for Blizzard to nerf this hero, I would say. Um, he's very good. The main thing you have to do is realize that your hero power really sucks on low tavern tier. So the strategy that a lot of us employed during the time that we were playing with buddies, where we stay on tavern one until we hit seven gold, and then you double leveled to tavern three in one go, that's basically how you want to play this hero. And then you want to level tavern four, and then you want to use your hero power around the time it costs four gold, just because you actually gain gold doing so. And hopefully some of the cards you pick up also don't suck. And if they don't suck, you can comfortably level to 5, at which point the game more or less hits the end game. And the hero is really good because the point at which you start hitting the end game is usually about a turn faster than even some of the best heroes out there. So strongly recommend to play Heist Baron if you're offered. Hope you learned something in video, and we'll see you next time. Hey, it worked. Just complain. All right. First game, Togwaggle. Let's see this shit. I think we're gonna try to do like the stay on one strategy. Cause we can't really use the hero power until a little bit later anyway. So we wanna just preserve health and then slap it on a high tier board. What new worlds will we create this time, mortal? Okay. So the hero power is 9 gold, steal all minions in Bob's Tavern. Each turn, your hero power costs 1 less. It's not a once per game hero power, but when you use it, it goes back to 9. Missed HP. Right. It's probably quite good at elementals, but there's no elementals in this one. But I don't really care. I mean, it's the first time I'm offered it, so... Stand Let's go. Against the dark. Welcome back. We have much to talk about. <laughs> A well still has its uses. Choose your fighter. Quite like the Murlocs. On tier six, if you want two in the shop for nine, it's a discount since you can sell four. I see. It's just not always easy to have nine if you're rolling through is the thing. Uh, we'll, we'll see. You must do everything in your power. That was a reckoning. 
After the first turn, it's eight maximum. Oh, I see. Wait, is it? Oh, we'll see. I hope we're always on the same side. Damn. Next time, leave nothing to chance. I think the refreshes might be the way to go here. Raise for the pair. Should I? I don't know. I don't think so. Your destiny must be your own. A reckoning. I'll be back in a sec. Let us bring this to an end. Nice to get a tracker free game. <sighs> wow, that's pretty good. I'm actually gonna do that. Because I could sell that back and get a 5 this turn. It's just such a good board. Okay, so we have Pirate, Murloc, Quillbore. Alternatively, Baby Crush. Just the slap. Slapper scale, I don't know. Thing is, the Marlocks are probably the only thing I'm keeping. So I think we'll go with the slap. You scallywags need some gear? So let's see if this is eight next turn. It might be. You must do everything in your power. <laughs> I think I actually lose. Uh, no. Nope. Oh, just, just there. That was a reckoning. Okay, yeah, it is eight. That one is dismissed. That's pretty good. Okay. You must do everything in your power. Got the 
Merkai. Should we work on poisons, maybe? Let's work on poisons. What does this hero do? Press button. Buy shop. Gonna do it next turn. You're clearly watching AFK go on Murlocs. That was not a successful video, though. It was kind of like, uh, yeah, this doesn't work all that well, but, you know, maybe if you have to. It does? Okay, dude. There are threats on all sides. Be careful. Bad. I'm in last damage cap still protects. That's perfect. Oh, we got Zerus too. Bam! Thank you. Alright, what else do we got? Well, that sucks. I know, chat. I know. Relax. For justice. I think I'm gonna keep that to try to get a triple. I hate leg day. A gift for Ashara. You must do everything in your power. Why is this guy so weak? Didn't we get poisoned? What the fuck? Leave nothing to chance. Choose your fighter. One of these fine recruits. Yeah, we have the Golden Seer, so if we can get poison on those, then the attack is meaningless, so we don't have to try to find a Golden Begurgle, which is pretty big advantage because it's much harder to find a golden gurgle than a cold light seer. Stand against the dark. Mm. 
winner. Jerry's gonna be really strong though. He wouldn't have cleave, so let us bring this to an end. No poisons. Your fighter. Shara. Soldiers for gold? How barbaric. What have I become? Father would be envious. Who knows what I will protect these minions for next time. Good thing I had two minutes for that. I know, right? Should we give him a brand? Yeah, he's playing pirates. We should give him a brand. Big cleave. I don't know if it can be big enough. We're getting like a crazy amount of health here. unlikely. Scam pirates into scam pirates. Hire 
one of these fine recruits. Soldiers for gold? How barbaric. I hate leg day! Executed. on the same side. Scam pirates. Please don't kill that. Come on! How many fucking turns has it failed? Like five? You are mighty as the black dragon flight. Hire one of these fine recruits. How the scam pirate players are against each other get fucked. Okay. Stacks mass amount of health. What do you mean? This got quadra sniped. Had five minions, it got hit. Four minions, it got hit. Four minions again, it got hit. Four minions again, it got killed. That's just not that likely. I mean, yeah, it's not one in a thousand, but it's just... <laughs> It's just pretty shit luck trying to get poison. Yeah, fifty-fifty. Let us bring this to an end. Okay, we got poison and everything now. They tied. Are you fucking kidding me? I have to play both their dumbasses now. Wait, was that an Eliza? What? <laughs> Is that possible? Okay. Alright, for this one, we're actually gonna switch gears here. Okay. We want this to attack when the pirates are still small, so it doesn't die, and then gets poisoned late. It should give me one extra big minion, effectively. Do I need stats still? Yeah, the scaling here is really strong to the point where I can go over the top on mediocre pirate builds, and considering there's two players going with pirate builds, we might end up in a 1v1 against not that crazy of a pirate build. So yes, the stats matter a lot. Burn away the competition.
wave is a little bit concerning, but we'll see. What? That's that whole guy's fucking build in one roll. You have a plan. Fine. Soldiers for gold? How barbaric. A lot of big stats, but I do think we go over the top eventually. Gotcha. First try, new hero. Imagine losing with Quad Cadgar, Golden Baron, two Golden Elizas, and a Taunted Scallywag with all Divine Shield. Imagine not winning with that. <laughs> uh, get fucking wrecked. But yeah, see, the, the stats mattered. I mean, last patch, that would have been just about the most unbeatable build. 